Mm -hmm. right? I am Dr. Satnarayan Balkar and Singh, but the artistic fraternity know me as Sat Balkar and Singh. I'm an academic, I'm an artist, I'm a consultant in project management, I'm an international lecturer. I just did a, um, a lecture tour of my last book, Ram Leela in Trinidad, 100 years of the Felicity uh, open air folk theatre tradition. Uh, it's my fourth book. So I am many things at the same time. I am father, right? Um, I'm, I'm friend to the artistic fraternity. I am mentor to a number of students in the arts, both here and abroad. So, but among all these things, right, you are known in some circles for your work in helping people of Trinidad and Tobago and indeed of, of the planet to understand themselves better through your work in mm -hmm. cult cultural anthropology. How important is it that we in Trinidad and Tobago acquire a better understanding of who we are and what are the, the metrics we need to keep an eye on in terms of understanding who we are and where we are as a civilization at this time? Um, understanding who we are. We have come from diverse backgrounds, diverse cultures, but also diverse civilizations. There was an African civilization. Particularly history tells us North African. Not that there wasn't a South African, but those who wrote history were their stories, his story. And they didn't tell us everything that we should have known, but what selective writings, that's of the African side. Then Chinese civilization goes back thousands of years. Then the Indian civilization. So you, you're talking about three civilizations and um, Eastern Europe, Southeast and South Asia, West Asia. A lot of people come from that area and there was again a civilization there and we have inherited those. Europe hasn't really had a civilization. Europe in, in terms of civilization is relatively new. Greece, yes, right? But, but Greece wasn't considered in Europe as it is today. Right? So Greece would have been a little more of eastern side, Turkey, Constantinople, that area, Syria. Uh, so when you look at that, and then you look at the fact that our first peoples, they have, they have come into the Caribbean. Um, research was just done by two universities in in USA on First Peoples and they have traced there's a Dr. Jada from Trinidad who works at one of, of the universities and she is one of the people who have traced our, our pre-Columbian civilization of 11,000 years that's what they have documented we know of the Banwari man, who really is the Banwari woman, right? It wasn't the man of 5,000 years in Trinidad, right? So we're looking at the juxtaposition of civilizations. Whether we know of it or we don't know of it, it existed, right? You know, in places like Trinidad and Tobago, it goes beyond mere juxtaposition. It, it, it goes into the area of a kind of integration of all the multiple elements that has created some semblance Who we of a are. whole. Good. Right. Now, acquiring this understanding, how do you think we can employ this understanding in terms of advancing our development 
or improving on the way we conduct our business, both in the civic and in the, um, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the higher levels of our society. We should go back a little behind to say where we are. Sometimes we don't know who we are, but we find ourselves in an environment where the energies take us into different realms of consciousness. So you come into an environment, let's say like Trinidad, or places of, or in Trinidad, Tamana, the San Fernando Hill, um, Maracas, there are energies that exist in those areas that have been there before this three generations that find themselves in now. I'm talking about 19th century, 20th century, right? Earlier than that. And these energies exist. So when you find yourself there, you are motivated to do things you, they, because of the energies. Plus, you are looking at, you're looking at DNA. You're looking at DNA of seven generations past. And because of the, the, the multiplicity of, of backgrounds we find ourselves in, like, like a Trini person. And I'm not talking about an Afro Trini or an Indo Trini or a French Creole Trini. I'm talking about the Trinidadian, the Trini person, right? Because of those energies that we find ourselves in. Um, we have a lot. We have a lot to, to offer the world. We have a lot that we can develop ourselves from and into going into new development. People would say that, yeah, we invented the pan. Is it that just we, we invented the pan? What was there before the pan? There was tambu bamboo. Who invented tambu bamboo? The first peoples. They used the music and then the African drums came and the Indian drums came and the tassa. So we are putting a whole set of things that we have at our disposal now. How we deal with it, where we carry it, in what direction and how we build on it. You need, you need, or we need as a people and this is where leadership comes in. You're looking at leadership at every level, at the household level, at the community level, at the, at the, the village level, and then at the national level. The right kind of leadership that can say, look, we don't know everything, but let us engage the people who we think know to do that kind of research to, and to tell us what we are and where we should go. We're not doing that in Trinidad, right? Uh, if, we could, if we could find the kind of leadership who could say, let us do that. If you don't have that leadership and if you don't know your history, right, you, then you don't know who you are right now. How do you know where you're going? This is a, this one, um, we didn't discuss this before, so it might be a, a, a bump, bouncer. Melting pot, toss salad, where are we in that equation? We are trying to demarcate. When you say melting pot and toss salad, we are both melting pot and toss salad. We are, we are both plural cultural society, pluralist society, and multicultural society. We are both single cultural journeys and syncretic. We cannot, we cannot say truthfully that we are this, 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 or that. We are combination that's what that's why i started off by saying there are energies that exist in the country right that you use 
for the good or for the bad. If you don't know how to use it, all kinds of things can happen. If you know how to use it, you can channel it to get the best results. So I would not say we are tossed salad. We are tossed salad. We are melting pot, right? But we are that and more. Okay, now, the final one, which has to do with your creative work. Uh -huh. You write poetry. You are, you are a very prolific um, writer on, on things within your technical expertise and also as somebody looking at the world situation. But dance is, a lot of people know you through dance. What place does dance hold in, in all of this in terms of your journey to understanding who we are and interpreting our reality? It's very interesting you'll ask me that. One month ago, I, I went to visit my alma mater in Delhi. The Kathak Kendra, the Institute of Kathak Dance. Kathak comes from the word Katha, which means a story. So it is, an, it, it is people who learn a style of dancing to tell stories. And I was asked the same question by the young dancers there who are now feeling their way. Are you an academic or are you an artist? Right? Are you, are, you, are you a leader from the point of view wanting to guide people or are you a follower? Young, young artists who are asking me that. They're 20s and 30s. And what do you concentrate on? You concentrate on the academics or you concentrate on the arts? And my response was, if you are an artist, we are all artists, if there are people in leadership positions and who teach management today, and you know what they're talking about? They're talking about left brain, right brain, right? Where the left brain controls the right side of the body and you're dealing with logic and physics and mathematics so you 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 look at things in a very clinical way and the right brain deals with the left side of the body and you deal with intuition you deal with hunch you're dealing with creativity so you need to balance your left and right brain me my first degree is economics an honors degree in economics from Delhi University. My second degree is a master's degree in project planning and national development from the University of Bradford in UK. My third degree is cultural studies, sociocultural anthropology, however, whatever term we want to use, that's what it is. Um, I have put all of that together and I spent five years at the National Academy of Dance in India. Right? So I did. I did a diploma and a postgraduate diploma. But before that, I was a pan man. I used to beat pan. Right? I can't say where one has ended and the other one has begun. When you're talking about dance, and I tell people, you can't not talk about dance because we are dealing with the dance of life, the dance of creation, the dance of um, protection, what you have, right? What you have created, you want to preserve, protect, and the dance of dissolution, change. Change is taking place all the time. And that dance is in your writing, that dance is in your thought process, that dance is in your politics because the politicians are dancing a different kind of dance and those who shooting down each other they're dancing a different kind of dance but they are in dance is the dance of life right the breeze blows and the trees sway you could say that's not dance that's a rhythm right and you talking about choreography what is that Choreography is, geom is pure geometry, using, using 
um, rhythm, sound, right, and creating images. That's dance, that's choreography. And you can't not use rhythm. We use rhythm to think, rhythm to move, rhythm of the speed we're going to go, or you slow down, you changing your rhythm. So when you look at dance and you're always looking at what you can offer, right? And who is going to appreciate it? The, the Rasikas are those who are appreciating in whatever way. You're on the stage, you're writing poetry, you're delivering your speeches, you are delivering and somebody's enjoying. So that how do you separate now dance? But then people know me as a dancer simply because all my life I work as a public servant. And one of the regulations in the public service is you couldn't talk about anything you were doing in the public service, right? You are a somebody without face, right? You are public servant. You couldn't talk about what you were doing. Who knows? I was a director in the Ministry of Finance and Planning. I dealt with the public sector investment program. That was only money programs and projects for all the ministries and the government, including the Tobago House of Assembly. I couldn't talk about that publicly, but I could talk about planning. I could talk about policy prescriptions. I could talk about a philosophy, but I couldn't talk about it publicly, what I was doing in the public service, so nobody know. But I could have talked about my art form. And uh, does that answer your question? Yep, it, it raises all the questions <laughs> that the question, initial question posed. And, and yeah. I, I mean, I have performed and lectured in North America, in South America, the whole Caribbean, right? From Jamaica down, right, to Tobago. I have lectured and performed in, in UK. I have lectured and performed. I just did a, a one month in India, right? Um, and they ask you all kinds of questions. How come you're here? Why are you here? Ramlila, you're talking about Ramlila. You know about Ramlila? Yes, we, we have more than 125 years of Ramlila in Trinidad, right? And it is, it is a festival that can bring people together. It's creativity, it's, it's rhythm, it's, it's a community happening, it's, it's an epiphany, right? Um, so, and like Carnival, right? And like so many other festivals, we don't talk about it, we don't, we don't promote it. Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean is still the cradle of, of creativity. And we in Trinidad don't want to, to harness that creativity. Food, festivals, we don't have to deal with sun and sand alone. You were talking about going into the, the swamp. Who has gone into the swamp? Who has made this swamp an oyster and, and birds and, you know, a big tourist attraction for the world? The world doesn't know it, right? They only know about our carnival. What about our Diwali? What about the, the, the First Peoples Festivals? What about the, the Saraka, right? What about the, the, uh, the other festival, La Cruz de Mayo? Nobody knows about Parang in me. But there should be Parang in me. Let's bring it back. We have, we have something for everybody here and for the world. Great. 